Hello YouTube, it's Feather Mist, and today I'm back with another tutorial on Medibang Paint Pro. Have you ever drawn something like, I don't know, a blue heart? Okay, no? Okay. Have you ever drawn something like a blue heart? And then later on regret it not adding an outline to it? So you're just stuck with a blue heart, and you could try tracing around it with black, but the results aren't that great, are they? So today I will be showing you how you can make the results a little bit better. So, what you do is, let's see, so I'm actually gonna do this tutorial with a blue heart, <laughs> believe it or not. Let's see, I will draw a heart. And I just want an outline of the heart. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do my go to my layer section, which is here. And I'm going to copy this layer. If you don't know how to copy this layer, ugh, go to here. Let me go to my highlighter and I'm just going to highlight that. Click on that double square thing. It, 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 looks, like, it looks like this. Wait, let me draw it. There you go, that's what it looks like. So right here. Okay. So click that, and your heart reappears. So what you're gonna do is, now you are going to see all of these buttons over here. Protect Alpha, Clipping, and Lock. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna click Protect Alpha. So. Click Protect Alpha. And now you can't draw outside of your heart anymore. You can only draw on the inside of your heart. So, color it black. Now that isn't going to do anything, is it? So, what you're going to do is, you're going to turn off Protect Alpha. I'm going to go to your paint bucket. I have another tutorial on your paint bucket. And you should go check it out. <laughs> and what you're going to do is, you're going to change the expansion level to two or more pixels depending on how many pixels you want now you're just going to press on your heart and whoa did you see that it turned a little bit larger now you drag your heart down and see you see the outline don't you it's a perfect outline now you might be thinking whoa that's so thin or whoa that's so thick well if you want it to be thicker you can just Boom, press it again, and it's going to turn thicker, and whoa. Or, if you think, oh, I messed up, this is way too thick, and you're too lazy to press the back button, or press Control plus Z, what you can do is you can go here. So, in your color wheel, I, I hope you have your color wheel out, you have this pixel thing, and you may not know what it is, and you may know what it is. So what it is, is it's kind of like a shortcut to the eraser, or something like that. It's just like you draw in pixels, so you're technically erasing everything. But the cool thing is, if you're on airbrush, it kind of airbrushes everything away. And what you do is you go here and you tap on the outside of your heart. Don't tap on the inside of your heart, that's just going to delete your whole entire heart. So, just tap it. And I, I think I made the heart a little bit too small. Oops. <laughs> okay, now let's wait for my laggy computer to load. See. You don't want to make the heart too small, or else the black lines aren't even going to show up. So let's make this a little bit larger. And, okay, just a little bit larger. And there you go! That is how you save yourself from tracing the heart or whatever you're drawing. Okay? Got it? Uh-huh. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to this video. Bye.